Hello, and welcome to another Fridays with Normie. I'm here in Studio JRS, and I'm going to present to you another track review of a 2016 track that I released in October of 2016. And um, this is a track that I'm very, very proud of. Um, it took a lot of work, um, mainly because I already I had to practice a lot for this one. A lot of creativity went into it. I had to practice the violin um, because I put uh, recorded my solo violin playing in the song. This song is called Ballad of a Dying Star. And uh, let me read your description of it. Soaring violin lines, melancholy piano accompaniment, Shimmering and gritty synth lines and booming bass and kicks. Electro rock, classical music style chord progression, reminiscent of the band Muse. This is what you get when you hit that play button on Ballad of a Dying Star, along with amazing and subtle vocalizing by the famous Bright Lights from her sample pack she released on Splice.com. This song places you in an eerie space and dimension with its shimmering arpeggiated synth and piano motif, the bittersweet solo violin line will give you something to hold on to through its metamorphosis into heart-pounding amalgamations of harmonious beats, bass, synths, and piano. And before I play the piece for you today on this track review, I want to tell you about the origin of the song, the process, the meaning, um, and then I'll play for you the song. Uh, the origin is, uh, let's see, well, it had, it had been pretty soon after I had moved into this studio, I was listening to Muse. A lot of my songs, well, some of them I would say, maybe not a lot, but some of them are inspired by the band Muse. And I'll link to their YouTube channel below if you want to check them out. They're a popular English band, um, very popular. Um, and they've been around since the 90s. And they just released a new album last year called Simulation Theory. Um, but this track was created before they actually released that album. Um, so I was sitting here in, in my studio and uh, I was listening to some of their older music and I had the air conditioning on and once the music had stopped I was just relaxing and savoring the music and the air conditioning was on okay the reason I mentioned the air conditioning was on because I started to hallucinate uh, like an arpeggiated I don't know like synth or piano or something um, it was a really unique time, it was like seven against something, it was, it's what you'll hear in Dying of a Ballad Star at the very, very beginning and throughout the song. Um, and that's what inspired this song, I was like, I'm hearing this melody, is it, it's like, it seemed like it was coming from my air conditioner, but obviously I was, I was hallucinating it, it was just very faint. So I went to my computer here, this MacBook Pro, and uh, opened up Logic Pro 10 and, well actually, no, no, what I did first was I went to my piano and figured out what I was hearing, and I got it exactly right, um, and then went to my computer and wrote it in, um, and then went back to my keyboard and uh, composed this really kind of I would say fatalistic piano line in a way it's it's kind of bad you know it's like a ballad that's why I call it a ballad um, this originally was an instrumental and when I what I mean when I say instrumental is it didn't have my solo violin in it I had not recorded that I, it was just intended to be a synth piano bass kick um, percussion um, but after I had listened to it, I thought solo violin would be perfect to add to this piece. And you know what was that? I was originally thinking, I just thought of this, I remembered this. 
I was thinking I could have one of my friends, Jimmy Glover, sing on this song. But uh, I actually <laughs> I wanted to perform on this song, so I decided to make it a, a, a violin featured piece so I could actually play on it. So, um, Inspiration was Muse, like I said. I had just been listening to Muse. Um, and this, the original title of this song was called Red Giant. I was really into science and astronomy and uh, just learning about stars, galaxies and all that. And I love the concept of this massive star that was, that was dying called, you know, billions of stars that are red giants. And I looked up a picture and it was inspiring. Um, so originally it was called Red Giant which is a dying star. Um, and then later, I thought would be more poetic would be a ballad of a dying star. Because um, it is ballad-esque. Okay, my process. Like I said, I started on my, my keyboard playing the arpeggios that you'll hear in the song at the very beginning when I play, for you, play it for you here. And um, then I added the piano line, something kind of ballad-like, a little bit rocky. Um, kind of like Muse. Uh, then I added the synths. When I once I added the synths, I really got inspired because then it turned into more of an electronic piece than just like a rock piece. Um, and I don't know what it is about electronic music, but it just it gets my blood flowing. I just I get really pumped up, and uh, so I love synthesizers, and I added those. Then I wanted to add drops, and um, these drops aren't like, they're, they're big, but they're, they kind of are natural flowing into these drops. I don't, I don't know, almost call them just the, like choruses, really. If it, if it had a singer, it'd be like a chorus. Um, not necessarily drops, but you could call them drops if you wanted to, but I wanted to make them very fiery, um, very apocalyptic, fantastic fantastical fantasy um fiery like, yeah fiery <laughs> like a star um and then after i completed the whole song and listened to it i i uh, decided i wanted to play the violin and i recorded my violin i probably must have done a hundred takes to get it just right and editing all that was a massive i wouldn't say headache because I really, people who know me would probably realize that I really don't like editing vocals a whole lot. Um, editing like audio clips, I like more of the composing process, but editing, I was very detailed oriented and I, I just knew this was going to sound great and so I put everything into it. Um, the meaning of this song is basically to inspire awe and wonderment, um, to invoke the vastness of the universe. This, uh, this, this uh, a Ballad of a Dying Star was released on my EP Nothing But Sound in October 2016. It's the second track. I have a playlist of it. Um, I'm gonna play for it for you now on this video, but if you want to just listen to the audio only without all this explanation I'll link to it below where you can just have get the audio and it's released on all major platforms uh, Spotify iTunes Apple music Google Play Amazon you can buy it it's available readily available pretty much everywhere digital music is sold so but without further delay Ballad of a Dying Star
So this piece that you just heard, Ballad of a Dying Star, uh, it took several weeks to compose and put together, uh, especially, with, especially with me recording my violin. And um, I don't know, like I said at the very beginning of this video, it's just one of my very proudest tracks. And I'm just very proud of it. and. Um, I just wanted to feature it in one of these track reviews so that if you had missed it before the release, two years, three years ago, well, about two and a half years ago, um, that you can catch it now. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, okay, that's it for this video. I want to get a few things to bring to your attention before I let you go. Um, Welcome to the Astral Plane is finally on all major, major music platforms now. Finally got it up, uh, things sorted out, and um, so you can find it on iTunes and Apple Music and etc. etc. Um, I'm working with my client Justin Polly, who goes by Foreteller. I'll link to his channel below. We've done two songs already together. One is called The New, the other is called Fool. You can check those out, and also his, uh, his first song called Paranoia is a good song too. You can check that out. It was produced by Studio. 21 here in Springfield. Um, anyway, we're working on a new song, and I can't, I'm not gonna say anything about it except that it's very excited. We're both very excited about this, and uh, we just recorded his vocals yesterday. Um, and uh, so it'll be released probably next week. If, yeah, probably next week. Yeah, it's a good bet. All right, and last thing, um, for you to get excited about, I'm actually going to be releasing my secret track to the public next month, and so it won't be secret anymore. Uh, I'm not even saying the title still because I, <laughs> I just like the mystery around this track. It is up on my Patreon though, specifically just exclusively for my patrons, so if you want to become a patron and listen to it before it's released to the public, I very much appreciate that. You only have to pledge one dollar or more. Um, and don't feel bad if you just want to pledge one dollar to hear that song. Any any amount of uh, donation is is really really appreciated. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that. This was track review, Ballad of a Dying Star. Okay, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.